specifically now. Okay. Can I start? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, we, we will start in the session AC1 about, about, about automatic control. My name is Ruben Garrido. I will be the session chair of this session. The first talk is named Mechanical Advantage Assurance Control of Quick Return Mechanism in Tax Space. The speaker is Focabet Mendoza. Please, Focabet, you have uh, the, the screen for your presentation. Please start. Okay, we don't hear you. Uh, you. You can increase the volume of your microphone, please, Jokabet. Here is the microphone. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, please increase more your volume, please. If there is a problem with the microphone or the noise suppression. It's rather difficult to hear you. <laughs> Start, please. It seems it's better to start. Okay. Okay. Um, the presentation. Um, I'm saying is mechanical advantage of the control of the control mechanism in that space. So we said. So we will divide this uh, presentation in, in five sections: the introduction, the problem statement, the protocol mechanism, the simulation problem, and the conclusion. So we have. Uh, first of all, we, we want to understand what is a query uh, with a mechanism. A query with a mechanism is a mechanism that has a system of movement. And the system of movement is a trace of all the manufacturing and the system of movement. And then, since the movement is a system that is controlled by the system of movement, and also that has an indication about the control of the velocity and the stability. And then, the individual. The first of all is the mechanical advantage of the system that has been separated from the electricity of the load and the electricity of the load. The second one is a general methodology for that space separate design of any source and mechanical material. And the third one is a general important system for all of our systems and the systems and the system. Okay, we can understand the issue. Uh, 
Pues de todos los temas, ahorita hemos hecho un año de los años de autismo también. So we have two physical things, so we can actually and look much better by the final medical people. And then we have the recent phase and the next phase. So the recent phase is when the
Okay, thank you very much for your presentation. If there are any questions, please over the public. For the person viewing this session through the 
Teams application. No, I have a question. I have several questions, but we, we have we are short in time. So the only question I have now is uh, there is a singularity problem when you uh, try to estimate the Jacobian term. Uh, can you tell us about? Can you describe what? How can avoid the uh, singularity problem? Okay. Uh, to avoid the singularity problem. Um... Yes. Yes. Uh, the, the, uh, yes. You, you have there. Please return to the page where the Jacobian estimate is is located. Okay. Okay. There in equation seven. You had the Jacobian, uh, Jacobian term rho x hat. Uh, however, when you apply this Jacobian, the control law, this Jacobian mm -hmm. appears, uh, appears the inverse of the Jacobian. And the problem here is how to do you warranty that this Jacobian is non zero? Because you need to obtain the inverse of the Jacobian in order to apply the control law. Uh, uh, that's because. Uh... We got the computer. We got a uh, uh, again that this game is uh, series uh, related. Okay, yes. the, the, the computer says a several processes have a compensator game that overcomes the so so here are the conditions and uh, this uh, variable is uh, has to be higher than zero. Because uh, when we are in the in the in the retoning phase, uh, we cannot consider we don't consider that they have a, a control velocity. Just we are uh, we we put that uh, attention only when using the the the, the, the cutting phase. Okay. So it is considering that this uh, parameters is going to be or uh, uh, above zero. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you. If there is another question for the exponent. No, well, we will thank Jacobet for his presentation. Thank you very much. And the next presentation is the design and performance evaluation of PID controller for a book converter for electrosurgical unit. The speaker will be Miguel Rosas Jimenez. Please, Miguel, you are able to make your presentation, please. Miguel, okay, thank you. Here's my microphone, so please move here. You can see there or here, or you can see that. Okay. 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 Can you hear that, though? Yes, we can hear you, not very clearly, but I can hear you. I don't know if it's the rest of the people in the session is able to. Um, good night, good night. My name is Miguel Roca, and I'm going to present the work title uh, Design and Performance Evaluation of ID Controller for a Book and Doctor for the Critical Unit, uh, with Peter Rotul of my bachelor. Uh, this work was the important uh, in the National Research uh, Series. Uh, and it's a collaboration with my advisor and professor. Okay, the uh, outline of this presentation is the following. Uh, first, I will describe the electricity process. Then I will enumerate the objectives and goals of this work. And finally, the relation of the book will be presented. And if we have time, I would like to talk about the work of this project. Okay, 
um, what is the electricity? Electricity is a tree that process in which It's a that process in which an elect electric current of high frequency and power is separated to some tissue. And what we can do is uh, this current is, uh, is introduced in the for a specific pulse. For example, distribution, correlation, pulverization, or dissipation, among others. This is for that this will vary the frequency. The wine form, the power, and the current output of water of the electricity is ASU. And in this picture, shows the grouping of electricity academic into a different system. Okay, uh, the operation, the operating frequency of the electricity academy is between 100 kilohertz. And uh, five megahertz. Okay. The high frequency proven and static shock diffusion raises the temperature causing vaporization, uh, which results in a dying and uh, formulation process. That is to say, the effect uh, of the high frequency proven to ensure uh, get diffusion, and the high frequency doesn't now accumulate the value of the Um the effects of the simulation are usually at the introduction of some biological process or the simulation. Yes. And the advantage of the electrosurgery process is that electrosurgery has shown a capacity on efficiency in future activity, avoid excessive bleeding. Uh, in addition, it allows to obtain a power of the the ratio of transmission infection. Uh, between the case and healthy tissue is reduced and would fail in less time than the structure, among others. Another significant advantage is potential application in the socialist microsurgery, where the interaction with the tissue must be done on a small scale. Okay, the things that we do is the monocular operation. Two electrodes are used on the, uh, two electrodes are used. One is the individual, the individual, and the other is placed on a large area uh, of the patient. This picture uh, shows the connection between the electrophysical unit and the patient. Um, here, the head frequency runs through the patient uh, and returns to the electrophysical unit. And uh, here we can see the uh, general exchange process uh, where the user fixes the set point. And this can be constant RMS current, constant RMS power, or constant RMS voltage. So, and they can be chosen depending on the interest of the tissue. Usually, low value of interest is when we use a uh, constant R and S curve. When we use a mild value of interest, we use constant power. And when we found high, high value of, of interest, we use constant voltage. And in this contribution, we only consider the problem of relation to power. On the other hand, the predominant topology is based on a DC converter and high frequency voltage converter. Essentially, the basic configuration is a proof and both types of converters include a high frequency voltage converter. Um, okay. um, the electrophysical unit used by the surgeon must guarantee the required high frequency proven and voltage for the process. However, the tissue is your internet, um, thanks to the manufacturer. If this is a, an introductory property, the data and apply frequency to it. Uh, therefore, the electrophysical unit, uh, the same basis on an electricity, is capable of competition or for long chain. Okay, um, so the objective of the first word are described at low slope 
Uh, here we can see the response of lots of log system uh, interface of the variable log. We can see the time response for 20 milliseconds. And uh, we observe that every five milliseconds. <coughs> Uh, here we can see the control signal uh, for 18 meters. Okay. Uh, here we can operate the tool and see of the person to form and for the first five milliseconds of the simulation. And in the right, in the right side, uh, we can see a thing on the processing interface of the location. And here we can see the contrast signal. Remember, the contrast signal is the physical tool of the system function, so the signal is sensitive. It's important to say that the signal uh, is very not simple. We can observe a scattering of this signal to uh, the high frequency in the and we can, if we can choose another response, we should know the scattering out of the response is RMS values. The scattering due to the system of the monster is And here you can see the signal on the right hand, so the response is a and we got me, and in this case, there is no scattering in the signal because the regression activity is not present. And the performance of the training is the right time and uh, magnified for training of the signal. Um, the integral the square error, the integral time multiple the square error of the data. The integral absolute several criteria and integral of time multiply absolute several criteria. Uh, finally, the well, uh, the time of the electricity unit is based on a boost converter and a high frequency converter. Uh, for each of the operations, the electricity unit moves largely because the solar RMS power to be in the tool to change the load. The, pre the present load to load scheme, based on a 5D controller, exceeds a natural performance in simulation. And integral error, the PID and parallel signal as a controller is acceptable to compensate for the change load. Okay, thank you, Miguel. If you have any question, public, public assistance. Uh, hi, um, can you repeat your question, please? No, no, I, I don't have any question. No, I am asking to the public if, if the public has any question. <laughs> No, I have a question. I, I, I'm letting the, the public to, to, to ask a question. Uh, yes, we have a question. Okay. Please. You have a microphone, please, because uh, the audio is a little bit uh, weak. We have a question here. Okay. I, I don't hear the question. Uh, 
Okay, H have you finished your question with your comments? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you. If there is another brief question. Another question? Yes, another yes, question, please. Question. Yes. Is here near to the microphone? Yeah. Microphone is there, please. Yeah, um, the question is about um, if this project is aligned to something uh, like a noise, a medical noise. Ah, uh, of course, yes, of course. Uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a power uh, power system. So we regulate the noise on the fighting of electrical. I think it's most important because uh, about for the future of the work. So right now we have the simulation standard, but one thing that I think um, we have to consider is the one. And um, I think we have to consider how the company service wants to start to I don't know if you have to consider or if you can. We want to realize the amount of products, and yes, I think we must take it around here. For example, to not to I don't know. To look at the products, and yes, the first problem is the control. We have a I don't understand if you have finished your question and the answer. Yes, it's finished. OK, it's finished. OK, so thank you very much for the for the speaker. And the next presentation is called Robust Adaptive Control of Servo System. And this presentation will be made by uh, Jessica has been Maldonado in substitution of Lydia Mendes Morales. Please go ahead, Jessica. OK, give me a second, please. OK. Olivia, you can turn on your microphone, please. 
Jessica. Jessica, please, your presentation. Jessica, can you turn on your microphone, okay. please, for all time? Jessica, Jessica. Ah, it seems uh, there is a problem with Jessica. We will wait for several minutes. Can you try again, please? Uh, yeah, yes. Jessica, okay. she's... Yeah. No, she's... Okay. In okay. English, please. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Very clear. I hope that's very clear. It's as clear as I can right now. Okay, let me put the presentation. Okay. Can you see a presentation? Yes. OK. OK, so can I start? Yes, please. OK, uh, my name is Jessica Maldonado, and I'm here in representation of Olga Lidia Jimenez Morales and Ruben Garrido to present Robust Adaptive Control Servo of Servo System. And in this paper, we'll be presenting an introduction of, of adaptive control, a mathematical model of a servo system, direct adaptive control and experiments and conclusion. The introduction of adaptive control is a classical tool for the design of control algorithm system with parametric uncertainty. There exist two methods of control. It is direct adaptive control and indirect adaptive control. And adaptive control may be divided into loops. The first is referred as parameter identification loop. And the second as a control algorithm as a control algorithm loop. The parameter identification process is performed online, and the controller may be designed for tracking the output of a reference model, a constant, a time variant, a time variant referring signal. The motivation of this of this, this paper is the problem when using a class in adaptive controller. First, when we when it exhibits parameter, parametric drift if the plant under control suffers the effect of disturbances. A way to deal with this, uh, the way we deal with this problem, is using uh, an update law called in e modification. The second problem is that uh, an adaptive control may produce large control signal during its transition response. The objective of this, pro of this work is present a robust adaptive control algorithm. And the key feature is propose an approach that is use an update law with based on a standard e modification as a smooth saturation function, especially to work in large control signal during its transient response. The medical model of a servo system, as you can see, is presented in equation one. We have to assume that the DC motor is driving by a power amplifier working in current mode. And we can make an alternate, alternative writing, and we can see in equation three. 
where theta one and theta two are parameters now. And the D here is the disturbance of the plant. It's important to know that the capital D is not known. And for the design of this proposed adaptive controller, this knowledge is not necessary. The direct adaptive control, we have to assume at first that the parameters theta one and theta two now with an asterisk are known. We already know that. Uh, we have the control law that is presented in four, in equation four, where B, this UV, these R, are, as we can see in equation five, and the reference signal is GM. That is a reference signal that has continuous first and second time derivatives. From the above, we can obtain equation six, and we can substitute this to have a next closed loop system, as we can see in seven. And now we can we can have seven. Now we can suppose that you can that we can use parameter estimates, and now we have an adaptive control law. When this when with this adaptive control law. We can perform the same procedures as before. And now we can have an error dynamics. And with this error dynamics, we can now have a parametric errors. With these parametric errors, now we can have parametric estimates. These parametric estimates are following the adaptation law. Now with the additional term here, this term is called the E modification. This term the e modification we use it to eliminate the parametric drift in the parameters estimates due to external disturbance in the system to be controlled. The propose that we use that we tried in this work is assume that the parameter the, the parameter estimates belong to a set. Now the set are bounded. And these bounded parameters guarantee that any value of eta asterisk remains in this set. And the next adaptation law produces these estimates that has, that has also the E modification and now a bounded parameters. The main difference between the E modification and the E modification with the Saturation is the fact that the parameters estimate producing bad ladder are bounded to prescribed limits, where in the case that the only is the e parameter, the e modification, the estimates are bounded only when it's used in closed loop. In both cases, in both cases, the e modification provides robustness against disturbance, and the use of the hyperbolic tangent function improves the smoothness of the parameters estimates and consequently of the control signal. For the experiment platform, we use an experimental platform that has a control computer, an acquisition card that is embedded with an, excuse me, <coughs> that is Embedded with a Quanser, with a Wincon Quanser computer, an analog amplifier, and a DC motor. Everything that, it, that you can see here is using actually a real time software, and we can use MATLAB, MATLAB Simulink with a one, min, one millisecond EULDEL 01 integration method. For the experiments, we use this mathematical model. And with this mathematical model, the first thing we use is using these square methods for the several motor to use it as a parameter identification method for um, offline control, for offline knowing the parameters. 
the least square method requires a measure of position, control signal, angular velocity, and angular, and angular acceleration in different time. And these variables are known. Some are, some we know, some of them we don't know. And we define a filter to know a lot of them. The filter model is given in 15, that, as you can see here, and allows a linear regression based on available signals. Now we can have a vector of knowing function and a vector of unknowing constant parameters. The equation in 16, that is here, is valid in any time t, therefore, is also valid in any time moment where the capital T is a sample period. And measuring, measurements of the position and the control signal are made at, at the sample periods, as we can see in one, two, three, four, and the corresponding values of the acceleration and the, velo the velocity are computed at these times. Now we can find finally find a solution of a least square, uh, the least square methods, and now we can have the parameters of the system. By applying this method, we can have the we have the these models, this is these estimates to obtain theta one and theta theta two. And these values using the evaluation of the proposal adaptive control, the following is used, as you can see here. The variables presented in table one are used to implement the adaptive control algorithm. They are tuned by trial and error. And the input signal is applied as a sub of sinusoidal signals. In, and the reference model, or the, the model is using a dumbbell factor of one and a natural frequency of five. <coughs> These experiments are in real time. And as you can see here is this is the reference signal that is in blue and in red so is the servo system output using the e-modification. And here is the e-modification with a saturation term. As you can see, there is no a lot of difference, but we can see a lot of difference when the, <coughs> the control signals are here, especially when we see in time 10 and in 10 seconds and in 20 seconds, where it's a peak here and a peak here when using a new modification and it's not presented when we use a, a new modification with a saturation term. The tracking error produced by the controller is also here in the figure five. And in figure six, we can see the parameter estimate theta one and theta two produced by also the the e modification and the update log also. There are smoother in the term with the saturation and the parabolic tangent. Tangent and to assess the performance of the adaptive control under the these two, two forms of law, uh, the following performance criteria were used that is an integral square error, the integral of absolute value of the control signal and the integral of the absolute value of the control signal variation. And as is observed in the table, the values of this one and this one indicates that are lower in compared with the corresponding of the e modification that there is only the e modification. And we know that the higher the value of this one that is control variation, is, is observed that is a large variation in control signal. So when the value is larger, is high in value, it, we know that the, the control doesn't perform as well as the other. Uh, in conclusion, based on experiment results presented in previous section, it can be concluded that the adaptive control algorithms whose parameter estimates are produced by a standard and um, proposed of the light is able to track the output of the time variant reference signal. However, the standard of the law produces large variation in the parameter estimate, as we can see. And on the other hand, the proposed of the law avoid these peaks, produce 
and it's model control signal a reduced tracking error. The above is due to for the use of the saturation function in the optical lab and maintains the parameter estimates inside of no bones. And future works includes comparing the proposed algorithm with other recently proposed controllers. And to extend the study of this case of robot manipulator tracking control. Uh, this is this are the reference and um, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. Is there are any question for Jessica? I can hear you very well. If you can yes. type me. Please. How about the stability is the question? Oh, the, the stability of the control can be can be seen in a later later publication. Actually, uh, the stability of this control is we already make it and because of the of the time consuming and we can not present it very well in this paper and uh, will be presented in a later publication and also uh, as we can see is ultimate bounded another question please we can room for one more question No. So, okay, we, we will thank Jessica for his presentation, her presentation. And the next speaker is Jorge Torres from the Department of Automatic Control here in Timbestad. And the title of his speech is Improvement of the PD Controller Base on the Disturb and Observer for Trajectory Tracking in Underwater Vehicles. Please, Jorge. No, this is fine. Try again, try again. This is not the Thank you. 
Това е повече от другите. Може да се да бъде също стрейн. И да Това е по-малко, но 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 това е по
Thank you for the presentation. If uh, there is any question for the speaker, please. I think I'm here. Jessica. Yeah, I, I have just one question, and I know, I hope he can hear me well. Um, just one question. Um, uh, I, I know you you can use a lot of slime mode control, but you can use um, a PG plus active disturbance rejection. This will be a comparison in future work, or this will be a comparison in future work. Yes, uh, this is a question. But, uh, 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 for the moment, we are not working on that. So, so we need to do it. So, this is our question. Let's say, uh, uh, so this probably speaking, active rejection is a control law to with some of the reject Okay, but uh, there are some. Uh, Specifically, specifically for the active reaction control problem, and it's a very interesting question. Thank you. Okay, thank you. There's another question for the speaker. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have a question. I was trying to, to describe the developer. And I was trying to think why uh, I was considering that the um, that the mass is about the of the gas or, or something. Yeah. I do have some uh, some device uh, that can be done. So the things that we do today, when you have a body moving uh, in a medium, the Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. The next is called BLF based robust navigation on off of non autonomy mobile robot subject to much disturbance. And the speaker will be Jesus Eduardo Pacheco Villegas. Please, Jesus, go ahead. Okay, it's now. Nice. Okay, now. Nice. Okay, yes. Sorry. Um, process, uh, 
uh, under the framework, the single application devices are dynamic in two time scales. The first is low one is a large different to their mechanical domains, forces. And the second one is continuous motion of the point of contact, which is uh, the fast uh, dynamic, which we want to be talking about. So there are, uh, so these are uh, dynamical and cinematical disturbances. For the, uh, uh, the cinematical disturbances have been classified um, uh, shortly. Um, the third one regarding meeting is uh, an input that we can disturbance, which can be easily detected. But the second one, the material motion of the is a mass disturbance. It's quite difficult. Um, then, uh, providing a lot of goodness to the navigation of the world, what is a rather interesting problem that has been totally analyzed. Nonetheless, uh, cinematic disturbances are mostly neglected in the body of the character. I want to mention a very interesting work by Tom, who is actually the last year, in which a fairly uh, illustrative experimental publication uh, reminded that the sleeping arises as a delay in the Starting the response of a wheel and the and speeding the, the lateral motion of the wheel, this means the, the forward motion of the wheel. So, thereby, uh, we're interested in uh, some classical approaches to quantum signal systems, which are linear equations, which affect the classical spectral animation, can deal with the match uh, disturbance, but can not deal with the match disturbance. So that's what we want to try to solve using the variable of function. So the model of this first uh, preliminary simple definition, the variable of a function, that is any function that fulfills these uh, conditions in a natural region that's the natural region. And for this work, I will consider the simplest uh, variable function, which is called a variable the variable of this is metric uh, constant size uh, variable. All right, the system model. As I said, I'm uh, going to be working with the unicycle kinematic, which is this right here. And the disturbances caused by a similar system are projected by this matrix. For those of you who have worked with non homologous systems, then you can identify that this matrix can be analyzed because the local representative of the, uh, the symbolic distribution of the, of the input uh, vector there. And the important thing is to notice that this first column is that this column is a lead bracket of the, of the input matrix that tells us the, uh, the speed in each other is projected by the material motion vector field of the unit cycle kinematic. And this enlightens us in order to inject this in my system, we only need to define a proper uh, experience of this. So to Starting the time, we first need to set the following assumptions. The disturbances are at least uh, upper bounded. And then, uh, uh, based on this structure, uh, there are rights that this model of statistical disturbances in this defined and assigned, not even homologous assigned system. The problem is quite straightforward. We only need to apply the uh, analytic layer of the input distribution to this, uh, this third model. And there are that the curve, the normal machine term in the velocity is indeed the velocity of the point of contact, but it is using the velocity. So, uh, the important thing is here on proving this is a fairly simple computation. But the important thing is the properties behind the non columnic assigned system, which tells us that by this term, there are uh, ideal reaction forces of the of the wheel that are um, annihilated. So, uh, not all the most the ideal uh, constraint forces are expressed in the system. Thereby, uh, uh, also, uh, input addictive disturbances can be easily detected at a dynamic level. The unmatched disturbance by the geometry of this matrix needs to be built at a cinematic level. That is the most combining strategy. All right, so the following is quite uh, correct. Uh, first, I introduce the extended chain uh, transformation with regard to this positioning system as a matrix platform. And assuming a um, chain form uh, nominal reference subject, so this uh, we want to continue with uh, nominal reference with a 
found that uh, we have continued uh, experiencing acceleration. Uh, we get the following error in money. Um, or, of course, our control defined, or we get to the sort of design of the control input to warranty the setting of a, a required reference and um, to establish the strict bounds of the system. Um, again, by different steps, but the important thing here is the geometry of this program. Uh, this space constraint arrives as a sort of formula along the trajectory that helps us to deal with the value disturbances. The control design, as we said, uh, the position in the system has some strict signal form. So we propose the following back to the line change of coordinates with uh, associated errors to dynamics. Then we can rewrite the strict bounds. Now we can define the extended error dynamics, considering the orientation error and the but the system for uh, positioning error. And by means of the well known very autonomy function, uh, the sign approach, we arrive to the following control mode. As you can notice in here, this forward velocity control mode, it might be ill defined if the space uh, meets the, the uh, compact version. And uh, having this uh, sign, I suppose. We, uh, the, we arrive to the first part of our major point, which is uh, for any initial state that fulfills the state constraint, the system, the closest system exceeds uh, uniformly but only a single state stability. Uh, the proof is again quite straightforward. We first suppose the following as an extended function, where these two terms are the barrier functions for the x and y coordinates and both in body and the body frame. And this, uh, um, taking the derivative and after the first assumption, the boundaries of the, the, the disturbances and the actually the upper bound of this term right here, we have to the following equation in which we can uh, notice this thing. Here, the state will uh, arrive to this compact set in which the radius of this term is inversely proportional to the state one uh, gain. And the second one is that whenever the disturbances uh, disappear, the system is given uh, exponential convergence. Now, uh, as I said, theory, we can uh, ensure that the system will compact that, but uh, the symmetric variable autonomous function has a first the well known uh, limitation. That is, uh, we are limited to how big we can. Uh, the state or initial error. So, to overcome the difficulty, we propose to deal with, with uh, an external uh, trajectory planning scheme, uh, trajectory planning scheme, which is otherwise difficult. Um, uh, following all this, the definition is important to important to the space geometry of, of the upgrade uh, in which uh, the uh, velocity field uh, at each point of the plane. Uh, Points uh, the spectral field towards uh, the higher contour that then gives uh, an smooth experience in the strategy. So, uh, having the nominal reference, we find only state or main vessel, which is uh, the non formal being of our robot that is uh, immersed in the world of the uh, approaches at a very minimal frequency around the contour of the field. Uh, again, the proof is quite straightforward. It, it follows from the definition of the change for transformation. Uh, we can write the term in this video later on. But we finally found the uh, uh, compact set for both the change form errors and the pose of the, of the robot. Finally, uh, in the statistics, uh, the scenario, uh, this is the scenario. Um, third, uh, we propose tracking a circle or radius of uh, all those part, uh, uh, eight uh, meters of radius. Um, the robot will improve at a minimum of five meters per second with this in terms. Um, to demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposal, we propose a uh, initial position of the outside of the circle uh, and a severe persistent uh, disturbance 
I want to clarify that this mirror list is static in practice that's kind of of the students with my local and my motherboard. And for the final list, the barrier list uh, is arbitrarily set and the control games were similar to the policy that the robot remains to be uh, the part of the final the barrier function. So first we can observe the behavior of the post of the robot in which uh, the Rotation appears an exponential convergence. Here we observe the extended arrow, where uh, the y arrow, the first two arrows, remain almost around the origin, and both arrows are confined within the barrier. And here we can observe the norm, norm of the both arrow and the same form arrow uh, regarding the second proposition, third proposition of this one. And graphically, that uh, reduces the behavior of the double. In which at the initial time the disturbance will take the robot away from the from, from the slow line of the development vector cell, but the variable function controller uh, is this other as as containing the robot with the funnel along this trajectory, and then the tracking of the circle is arrived. Here we can observe uh, the contouring error, and here's the tracking of the velocity. The velocity arrows at each point. And finally, these are the forward and very motions of the robot. The proposed Finally, some remarks uh, defining external disturbances if the robot is able to manage to be border. And the post error, uh, most of the post error arises from the exporting. Then our proposal com compromise the, tra the tracking of the export in order to reduce the disturbance. Uh, finally, from the perspective and conclusion of this work, uh, this, thing, this paragraph on the function has been proposed for a non-colonomic mobile robot, so this to match disturbances that is in motion. That effectively managing maneuvers uh, is moving towards the pilot target, just by a vector cell. The proposed scheme uh, compromises the, the tracking of the X coordinates as a consequence of a specific procedure. And finally, uh, as a perspective of this work, we are currently working on a continuum of scheme of big systems in a dynamic level and experimental work for the big systems. That will be all of my part. Thank you. I can hear, I can't hear the speaker. Okay, yeah, okay. Thank you for your presentation. If uh, there are any questions, please. For this proposal, we're assuming that the cost of the mobile property is no, uh, up, up to this point, the preliminary response is only a uh, motion planning issue. We're currently working with the whole uh, in this team for, uh, for the model of the dynamic standard. Going back to your question for the dynamic of actual robots, we will also need to measure the angle of electricity. So we will be doing that later. Uh, I think here one one small point, one small point, but that point uh, does not uh, of a a new policy. And uh, the master maybe is there or not uh, other question, please? Or more question? No, no more questions. No, no more questions. If there are no more questions, we, we thank the assistant and the speaker for 
presentation in this first AC1 session, automatic control, and we hope you can uh, assist to the other second session, automatic control, and the session about mechanics and other interesting subjects in the conference. Thank you very much and have, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Doctor.